Hello, my friends, and welcome. It is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. I am the drunk poker. It is beer time. Dominoes. Um, so yesterday I received three beer mails. Three beer mails. One of the beer mails was from our friends at Bose. It was a can of their latest release, the Good Time Session IPA, 4.0%, 25 IBUs. They even sent me some Dominoes, you know, extra time. And then I happened to stop at the LCBO today because I'm apt to do that on my way home from work when I'm off the next day. What do I happen to find? The new Bose Summer Mix Pack, $12.95. $12.95. Now listen, Bose Mix Packs, I love them because there's always something fun in them. Um, but they usually release them in the 500 ml bottles. And they're usually up in the $24 ranges. $12.95. Let's talk about this. So this was fortuitous. Not planned very well. Not planned at all. Not planned very well. Planned awesome, if you ask me. But um, just randomly run into this stuff. So inside, I've got another can of the Good Time. Um, we've got... This one I haven't tried yet either. It's their new Hellish, Hellish, Hellish Lager. Hellis? Hellis Lager? I love a good Hellis Lager. Of course, the ubiquitous and tasty Lug Tread. Probably my only Lagerdale that I enjoy. And full-time IPA. This is a great idea. I love this. I, You know what? Honestly, a Lagerdale, a good Lagerdale, a Hellish Lager, a Session IPA, and an IPA. Honestly, for 13 bucks. I'm okay. I, I think that's pretty decent price if you, if you want to know. Like, and that's a great night right there. That's one night. Boom. Done. Two regular beers that taste like beer. I don't know about this, but I'm, you know, it's bowls. And then full time. I love full time. Let's get into this one. So uh, Nelson Savon and Centennial Hops. Centennial is one of those like classic hops that kind of just goes in and out of style, but it's one of the big three with Cascade and Citra. Um, I think that's probably not right. I probably, I'm missing one, and now that's lost my head. Now, the nice thing is, I literally was going in not... I was looking for something completely different that I found, but this just happened to see this, and I love that. I love the stumble across. Stumble across the LCBO, but uh, let's uh, get a sniffy in here. Some pineapple, a little bit of pine, some berry notes. Maybe a little floral. That's intended to give you a lot of that floral, too. Hey, that's... Uh, Classic. And plus, you know, now I got some dominoes. I can have some fun. Dominoes is fun. But all that work to set up and you push and it goes down. I love watching those domino videos. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So cheers. Thank you, Bose, again. And look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. I can buy beer. Cheers, my friends. Session IPA. So Session IPA, is, this is something we're going to talk about a lot because there's a lot of them coming out. Session beers. Low ABV beers. Uh, the word a lot of people love to hate. Crushable. And I love that word. Crushable. This is crushable. Um, but crushable with the bitter bitterness on the back end. Quite a nice floral, piney bitterness on the back end. Um, definitely pineapple. Um, touch of berry. A little bit of spiciness. Now, I don't know if that's that's the Savon hops. The Nelson Savon. New Zealand hop. Why? Because I'm, I'm reading about hops now. I like to read about hops. It makes it interest me. I want to know what's going on in my beer. It's fun. It's fun to learn. Um, definitely, though, the back, you get a, a touch of the, 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 the pineapple, but it's like a piney, bitter, uh, a little bit, I want to say resinous, but it's not super. It's just bitter and dry. I think there's a bit of spice, floral hops, and kind of a, a, a little bit of citrus pineapple there. Um, yeah. I like, now, let's talk about something real quick before I finish up here. I won't keep you, keep you too long when i got things to do. Busy Tuesday night. Um, so we got full time IPA. We got good time session IPA. So my question is: Do we make an imperial IPA and call it uh, long time, or do we call it, you know, slow time? What, what are we doing here? I like that long time, long time, full time, good time, perfect. Here for a good time, not a long time. Okay. I I'm full of them. I'm full of something, people would say. Anyways, guys, look for it. Uh, this one, honestly, I think this might be the best thing I've seen them do for their mix packs in a long time. Um, Tallboy is much more accessible, again, to the individual beer drinker. Two kind of normal beers, you know, and then two kind of, you know, craft beers. I, I don't mean that in the wrong way. I know people are going to take it the wrong way. I know they are. Just, I mean, like, you know... How are you going to introduce your friends who don't drink craft beer to craft beer? You're not going to get them with full time IPA, right? They're going to be, it's going to be way too bitter. Even the session's probably going to be too bitter for them. But you can give them a lug tread. You can give them the hellish lager, which I always forget the bloody name because I'm terrible this way. 
just hellish, just traditional German golden lager. Okay, never mind. It's just so hellish. But, you know, and then you can, hey, look, look, this is a good friggin' beer, bro. So, I mean, we can split this in six fifty. In six fifty each. Six fifty. Three and a quarter a can. Come on, come, come on, man. So, yeah, look for it. Um, I like it. I like it. It, it. It's it's in that detour type range, and I think that that's good. We've got a lot of low ABV beer co beers coming up to talk about in the next week or so. I'm very excited about them because it means I can have more, and always more is always better. Cheers, my friends. Thank you, Bose. Look for it. Pick it up. Try it. Enjoy it. Buy another one. I know I'm going to. Cheers. I'm here for a good time. I hope for a long time. And I wish I could just drink beer full time.